welcome to episode 31 of the Comic Boot. I'm Kalen. I'm Cody. And I'm James. So today we're going to discuss a little bit of news, but first, and most importantly, Power Rangers. Holy shit, it was so good. Like, <laughs> what? It had no honest-to-God right to be as good as it was, no, they took and this, it was. They took this, like, really... Like cheesy, crappy show Schlocky that we all kids that a lot best. of people loved. Well, we as kids loved it, and then like in the nineties and on, as kids loved it. Well, you weren't a kid when this came out. You were like what twenty? Fuck off. <laughs> no, I was in high school, man. It wasn't cool to like Power Rangers in high school. But it was when you're, you know, about oh, yeah. five years old, and you went. I mean, it was awesome. So much fun, and the way that they recreated this world that we thought we knew it was it worked. It really worked. So I'm just so thrilled that there's Oh, yeah, more. we're not giving away anything about the movie, though, right? Yeah, no spoilers. Just, yeah, no, no, we're no spoilers. Out. We yeah. just want people to know that it's good, despite what some critics may say. Yeah, and I don't understand where they're coming from with that, but, you know, I have a tenuous relationship with all movie critics anyway. What? You? You yes. don't like movie critics? Fucking monkeys. <laughs> But yeah, like, the reviews that I've seen on it are, like, the Power Rangers movie takes itself too seriously. And it doesn't. And it doesn't. It's, I mean, it's it, it got a serious teaches, tone, but yeah, I mean, because, I mean, there are serious stakes because of, there has to be in a movie. In yeah, any movie, there, there giving, has to be a reason of why would you want to be a Power Ranger, other than the fact that it's totally badass. Well, That's and true. without giving too much away, I mean, it, it deals with a lot of problems that modern kids are having right now about inclusion and, you mm-hmm. know, finding a group of people whenever you're the outcast yeah wherever you go and And that's one or i saw a thing on tumblr or a written post someone said aside from the fact that they're having multicultural cast the yellow ranger is a lesbian Mm -hmm. and the blue ranger has autism i never thought that power rangers would be the most inclusive movie of 2017 but here we are yeah no, it's, it's the first superhero movie to ever feature a lesbian superhero. Or anyone with autism. And an autistic superhero. He goes, I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> it's like, you don't say. Oh, uh, Billy. He's so adorable. Yeah, Billy was by far my favorite. Precious, oh, yeah. Whatever. Precious cinnamon roll. Too good. Too pure. So, but yeah, I, I went and saw it with Soph, and we uh, I looked over at her several times during the entire movie, and I was like, this is really good. Yeah. And it was. The only part that, you know, I almost got lost on was whenever the original theme played towards the end. But that that's just it. you. That was, they were going to throw that in somewhere. We all knew. Unfortunately, yes. Like, like, don't modernize be... it, but don't let Fallout Boy do it, because they did it for some reboot movie. Ghostbusters. They did oh, it for God, Ghostbusters. No, dude, the best reboot for the Ghostbusters theme was done by Walk the Moon. Walk the Moon redid the, the actual Ghostbusters theme, and it's... Well, that's what Fallout Boy did, too. But... No, it was, no, it wasn't no. just Fallout Boy. It was also Macy Gray. Oh, God. No, it was Missy Elliott. Was it, was it Missy Elliott? It was Missy Elliott. Oh, man. I don't know. It was terrible. Whatever no, but, like, was. Walk the Moon just redid the Ghostbusters theme as it was. Okay. It was the Ray Parker Jr. one? Yeah, and it was phenomenal. Hmm. But, yeah, so... Power Rangers, if you want a fun ride, and... Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, worth if, the money. If, even if... Like, I didn't really like Power Rangers when I was growing up, but I, I walked out of this movie. I probably teared up at least three times during this movie. I laughed a dozen times, and I walked out wanting to walk directly back into the movie itself because it's awesome. That or the sequel. Either way, don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm going to see it again in theaters without a doubt. Oh, same here. And I'll probably re go see it, too. And... I can't say that about a lot of movies that have come out lately, especially superhero theme movies. Like yeah. the last one I saw multiple times was Suicide Squad. Yeah. And y'all can make fun of me for that. And then the one before that was Batman vs Superman. We all saw that one multiple times. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Y'all can make fun <laughs> of me for going to see BVS multiple times, but whatever. We're not here to. That's my oh, foot. So, sorry. How are sorry, you? bro. Sorry. Hey. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Um, Anyways. <laughs> Gay. Kaylin's just jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. Um, Anyways. Yeah, we have a couple of things that we want to talk about today. Uh, we're going to talk about solicitations for April, so you guys know what the hell is going on. If you guys do want to go out and pick up some single issues and do the things that I am stopping doing pretty much, with the exception of a couple of books. Uh, but yeah, so first things first, let's go to, what did we do? We did all Marvel last week, so let's do Mar- Let's start off with Marvel again. 
Then we can finish with good comics. Oh, yeah, I went there. Oh, my God. Um, so, Marvel April solicitations, the new things that are coming out. Um, we are getting a brand new comic that is called Black Panther, colon, The Crew, number one. Oh, no. So oh, what, yeah. What Black Panther title number is this now? Three or four? Three, uh, I think. Two. But or, let's, no, three. Yeah, let's three. talk about Black inclusion Panther, here. There's Black Panther, and then there's World of Wakanda right now. What do all these characters have in common? Are they all black? This is starring Black Panther, Storm, Luke Cage, Misty Knight, and Manifold. Yep. They're all black, and it's called The Crew. Mm Mm-hmm. The death of a Harlem activist kicks off a mystery that will reveal surprising new secrets about the Marvel Universe's past and set the stage for a big story in the Marvel Universe's near future. And the number one issue is called We Are the Streets. Oh. Racist. This is causing me physical pain. It causes my head to hurt. We are also getting double shipment issue. Who's writing it? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Who is writing that? Uh, Tanishi Coates and Yona Harvey. Okay, so it's the guy who's already writing Black Panther. Got it. And then we're getting a hip-hop cover for it. But God only knows. I'm sure it's like some Wu-Tang Clan reference. <laughs> Um, then we're getting the long-awaited X-Men Blue and X-Men Gold, which are going to be double shipping. So we're getting one and two in when, April. Does it say when they start in April? No, it does not give a specific date, but I'm assuming first week, third week, or second week, fourth week. So okay. it's a double shipping. But um, And of course, X-Men Blue is being written by Colin Bunn, which is worthy of being picked up because it's Colin Bunn. Oh, we are getting another hip hop cover from cover from that. Oh my god, dude, dude! What? Guess who's doing a variant for X Men Blue? Holy shit! Is it Scotty Young? He's still trapped he's still the there. Time. We haven't rescued him yet. We have um, a busy schedule. So, and then X Men Gold is Mark Guggenheim. I thought that was Charles Soule. Nope, Mark Guggenheim. Huh. And we're getting a hip hop cover for that one as well, but we are not getting. I stand. Fully fucking correct. <laughs> Stand fully corrected. Scotty Young. Scotty Young. So, um, I know I'm going to be picking up number ones of both of those just to check them out. Yeah, same here. Uh, it sounds really good. Weapon X, number one. I might pick that up too. So, what is this? Decades ago, the Weapon X program produced the deadliest mutant killers on the planet now with more research, more funding, and more animanium. It, at its disposal, the Weapon X program is creating new killers for old targets. So, they're creating new people to go after Old Man Logan's Sabretooth Lady Deathstrike. Right on. That is Greg Pack. Ooh, he did uh, Planet Hulk. There you go. Which is so really good, that. actually. That's also getting double shipped at three ninety nine a pop. I'll at least get the first one, see if I like it. Well, yeah, but here's the it deal, man. It is Greg man. Pack, and Planet Hulk was super good. Marvel's going to double ship at $4 a piece. Well, what does... DC. Three. It's two ninety nine a piece for double ships. Well, aren't okay. they going up in April two to three ninety nine a piece? Their sing their monthlies are. Some of their monthlies are. But not their double ships. Not their double ships. Okay. I thought it was their double ships. I think. No, correct. no, it's their sing. It's their monthlies. Just their single ships. Yeah. Well, some of those already are three ninety nine though. Yeah, because they started implementing it. They started implementing it. I think two months ago. Which is makes sense. I mean, yeah, I mean, single you're issue, getting three ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. But they also know that they're double ship issues. If you start jacking them up to four bucks a piece, that people, people aren't going to buy them. Right. Just wait for trade. It's going to be cheaper. You know, and that's kind of where I'm. I'm living my life right now. And just because I'd rather read, you know, five comics in a row and get the whole storyline than you whatever. Just be like me and get so far behind. You have about a month's worth of reading. Yeah, I that would work too. too. <laughs> I sat here the other night and freaking just plowed through everything I have. Oh yeah, like, and then realized the guy at Rock Bottom didn't give me enough bags and boards for all my comics. Oh no, I know. I um, got shortchanged. Working through High that Highlander issue you lent me. Oh, fine. It's so good. Yeah, no, that that's that's good. Yeah, the that second one's one really I, good too. That might be one I would pick up actually. But and that's kind of the way I'm rolling right now is more towards the IDW image stuff, like away from super books. I know that sounds really weird, but that's kind of where I'm at. Mentally. That happens to me all the time. I go through phases. Like, I'll be in a really big DC kick, and I want to read a whole bunch of shit DC. 
and then I'll be on a huge Marvel kick, and I want to read a whole bunch of stuff Marvel, yeah. and then I want to read a whole bunch of independent stuff, and then I go back to DC. So it, it, it's just gradual because you get tired of reading about superheroes, and you want to read about something else. Well, and me, I'm the only super like big, like out there kind of concept superhero that I'm really into right now is Aquaman, and of course Green Lantern Corps. Yeah. But like, I'm street level, man. Always, I, I don't know. I think I always have been. Like the Deathstroke stuff, the Daredevil stuff, the Batman stuff. Red Hood and the Arsenal. Red Hood, or the Red Arsenal. Hood and uh, <laughs> or, the Outlaws. Yeah, Red Hood and the Outlaws. What's your superpower exactly? I'm rich. rich. We'll talk about that here in a minute, too. Royals, Scream, number one. Lie. I'll pick that up. What is it? Royals, number one. It's the uh, new Inhuman. 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 Yep. We're getting a uh, hip-hop variant on that one as well. And apparently they let uh, Scotty Young have some lunch because he is not doing a little kid's what? game. What? I guess he's uh, out. They let him out for a walk. Although it would be see- weird seeing Medusa as a little kid, but I'm sure there's something out there of that. Oh, there well, already X-Men is. X-Men Gold's getting a variant, I thought, that was like... It had some of the, the members of that in like their 80s, 90s costume because there's an image of it where Storm has the mohawk again. Yeah, that I don't know. I don't know if that is happening because all I have right here is just a. It might be a variant, list. but it might be somebody else. Like not necessarily someone within Marvel. Like maybe a freelancer. Or it or could. Something. I, I'll have to look it up sometime. But then we're getting um we're getting Nick Fury number one. Is he black or white? He is black. Okay. Yeah. So we're sticking to MCU stuff. Monsters Unleashed number one, which is Colin Bunn also. Well. That's the that's a mini series, isn't it? Monsters Unleashed. Yeah, they've had so much leading up to that too, like the champion stuff. Uh, the An- Am- Amadeus Cho, yeah, Hulk title has been leading up to this Monsters Unleashed thing, um, and then of course all their continuing ongoing stuff uh, moving forward. But I think that's pretty much it as far Hulk Five, which I care about. Hulk number five. And then, oh, one thing. Did you finish Thor, Unworthy? I finished Unworthy Thor, yes. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a minute, too. Also, we're getting uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Prelude number two of two. That'll be coming out. So go run and pick that up. Not. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much it. America number two comes out next month, which seems late, right? It's monthly. No, it'll be the first week. It'll be this week coming up. Okay. I think I have it on my poll still. Pretty sure. And then Iron Fist number two, which Iron Fist number one was really good. Oh, yeah. Actually, I would have preferred if the show was like that. <laughs> yeah. I would have loved to have seen him fighting back to get to New York. Yeah. That would have been amazing. But with what, what he's doing, what uh, Ed Brisson has started with this Iron Fist title, is Danny Rand trying to get back to New York is what it seems like, right? Well, like not, he's left Kunlun or whatever it's called? Well, he's he's not in Kunlun, he's not in New York, but he also is having trouble... Accessing the fist. Yeah, he can't, he doesn't, he feels disconnected from the heart of Shao Lao. Right. So now he's on a journey to kind of find But you himself. see in that issue, like, he's almost got it. Like He, he was trying. Yeah, he you got can like see a it, like, spark. glowing a little bit, yeah. But he couldn't actually access the Iron Fist. And so, so he shows up this? at this fight club, Iron Fist number one. He shows up at this fight club, and he goes, here's a million dollars. This will buy my entry. He's yeah, like, he goes, you want to fight? He goes, all of all them. All of them? Yeah. He just beat the shit out oh, of every single it's one It's really good. And I would have loved to have seen that be the, the actual show itself. <sighs> my uh, Charles Soule run of Daredevil is continuing, which I'm super excited about. Uh, I'm officially dropping Elektra. That's not happening. They got her in some stupid, like, what's that Stone Cold Steve Austin movie where they put all the prisoners on an island? The Condemned? Yes. So that's what? the kind of storyline they're going with with Elektra right now. She got kidnapped by the people that she beat up in the... In the first one? Yeah. Here's the X-Men Blue variant. It's They're doing an X-Men Gold one, too, where they're in their old school costumes. Well, that's cool. It's like 92 X-Men, almost. Yeah. yeah. They're, but yeah, the I've gold one is the is the gold team in their okay in their old yeah costumes. I've seen that yeah um I didn't know Iron Fist got a new series I may have to actually pick that one up it's Iron good Fist. yeah so far I mean the first issue it's, it's unless they pull an Electra where they're like oh well, the first issue is great uh Brisson 